Howdy howdy everyone I'm Amit from Mail Smartly Today in this video you will learn step by step method how you can create and add a drop down list in Outlook email template In my earlier video we have learned how you can create a specified customized Outlook template and you can use that template every time you create your new email but most of the time when you want to use the exact same template but with the slight changes so you have two options either you can create a separate email template with the change or you can create a single template with a drop down option which you can change every time you create a new email forward or reply in this video you will learn step by step method how you can do that so first of all you have to use microsoft other platform which is microsoft word to create your email template so i directly jump to the microsoft word so i currently i am using microsoft word 365 i have already created a small content and which is dear sir we have forwarded this consignment after all inspection and will be delivered at specified location that is city here is the problem I want to change the name of the city every time I use this template and the problem is the name of the city is different so I have to select this word city now go to the developer tab and in the controls you will see this option combo box content control you have to click on it and you will see that this option will be changed to the drop down menu but the problem is you have to add the names here so again go to the controls click on properties and here content control properties dialog box appears this drop down list properties which is currently blank now you have to add the name of your series say when i click on add i add la click okay now again i add next is new york click okay now again click on add new delhi again i want to add another one which is amazon click okay now i have these four options but choose an item is also available in my list so i want to remove this simply select it click remove this will be removed from your list and simply hit okay now when you see your drop down consists of all the four names i have added you can also use another word to make the drop down list but in my case i am already only using this now the next step is i have to copy this paragraph into my outlook so simply use control a to select the entire content or you also you can use your mouse left button now you can use control c to copy or also you can use mouse right button and simply hit copy now go to your outlook so this is my outlook now click on the new email or you can also use control n to open the new email window now this is my new email now simply paste your content you have copied from microsoft word so you can use control v or you can also use your mouse right button and use this paste option so my content is already there i will cross check my drop down is already working here now i have to save this template so what i have to do simply click on the file tab go to save as now here you have to change the save as type you have to change it to outlook templates so when you select this outlook template the system automatically take you to the template section name it i will name it today and simply hit save now this is the end of the second part now you are on the outlook main page now here from the top left corner click on home now new items click here click on more items you will get few options here click on choose form choose form dialog box appears now from the look in you have to click on the drop down and you have to select use templates in the file system when you click on it you will get all the customized templates you have already created and here is my template what i have created recently which is today and simply hit open when you click on it the system will automatically open the new email and your predefined or customized template will be appeared with the drop down you can simply create 
or add some additional information here. You can add the email address of your recipient. You can add the subject. You can also attach the file if, if you need. But in this case, I want to send the assignment to New York. So I simply have to select New York. You can also change or modify some spellings or some fonts here manually if you want and simply hit send button. That way you can use your customized drop down template in Outlook very easily. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.